Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Rablas and this is a quick video to telling you how to do this. How to actually install Pokemon on your Arc. Easy. Community, go to workshop, bam. Okay, community, you know, store, library, community, workshop, bam. You're in here. Then you type here, Arc. It should, not Arc box, Arc Survival Evolved. Bam, then it goes first one, most popular items, Pokemon Evolved. You click on it. Bam, then you click subscribe, this green button, and you're good to go. And you're like, oh, how do I do this? Then you go to your game library. You have to have your goddamn arc. You click install, first of all, install your arc because it's back in business. You click install, then it automatically will download the workshop content with the arc yourself. What if you're asking yourself, wow, if I have my arc, how do I install that? Well, then just close your Steam or refresh your arc or something. Just basically, if you want to do this, just uninstall arc. You're not going to lose anything. Just just do it. This is Pokemon we're talking about. The next thing is I just uh, had this problem is when you're, uh, if you already have a single player world, I'm going to be playing on a single player. You can play on a multiplayer, whatever you want to do. The next thing is we actually have to go to your Steam folder. Just find your Steam, whatever you installed it. I installed it in my G spot. That sounded wrong, but okay. So this is if you have an old school or if you're old, if you played single player before, you're going to have a folder and the new Pokemon mod is not going to work if you have like an old school just because it's not going to rewrite all the dinosaurs that you have with the new Pokemon. Maybe it will. For me, it didn't. So I had to delete everything. Basically, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, find yourself the Arc uh, folder, then go to Shooter Game, then Saved, and then Saved Arc Local. Then delete everything that you see here or just... You know what? Do like create a new folder. Then click this, cut and uh, cut all the folders. I think there's going to be four files in total. Just cut them all and paste it in that one, the new folder, or just create a new folder somewhere else. Basically, save those files just in case if your character is so lovable and you you want to keep him. Uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, to prove that this is working, bam, that is a goddamn Pokemon in front of me. Sorry for the bad graphics, but who the hell is... Oh, don't tell me these... Ah, oh, these are like new generation Pokemon. Ew. I guess I deserve that. Uh, don't touch new Pokemon. There we go. That's the Pokemon that I want to listen or see in front of my eyes. Can you just move? Can you just stop? Is that an Evazor or yeah, a Bulbasaur? <gasps> Look at you. Look at you. <gasps> Squirtle. Screw you. Screw you, Bulbasaur. Squirtle. Look at the size of him. He's so cute. Who the hell... That's a dinosaur. That's a gi giraffe with the hairdo. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I might have to answer them privately in the comments if you have any more technical difficulties installing this great mod. But expect some videos out of, out of me. Because I love some Pokemons. I have no idea how I'm supposed to catch them all. I will try my best. Look at them. Don't you just want to hug this guy? I mean, come on, bro. Oh, yeah. Okay, so peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to subscribe for for some reason. I don't make these videos. But yeah, for some reason, I, I kind of want to... I kind of don't want to look anymore for Pokemon just because... I want to leave all the reactions for the for the next videos. This is a, like a tutorial video. Okay, I'm, I'm rambling again. Peace out.